How's it going guys? It's guy Ultimate Noob here back with another video and today we're gonna be doing uh, something a little different We're gonna be going through uh, the season 7 patch notes and everything you need to know about season 7 that has just been released by EA on their website uh, By the end of this I will put a link in the description to the patch notes so you can read them yourself, but uh, let's just go through them um, one by one uh, really quickly uh, just to see um, just to see what we're gonna get in the new season. So we start off the new season being on a new map, and we get a new legend called Horizon. Now, um, from what I've seen from the gameplay trailers that have been released, um, it's the Horizon definitely looks like um, a fun character to use, especially with the black hole that uh, sucks your enemies like towards the center of it. Uh, I think uh, could make for a lot of uh, thrifty nade plays, and um, her her tactical uh, just seems to be like. Um, it seems to be like an upgraded version of Octane's jump pad, but a more convenient one that's uh, available a bit more. So it definitely seems like a lot of fun. Now we also have the um, Trident here, uh, which is going to be the new vehicle available to us. Uh, definitely, And you can stack your ultimates on it. And uh, I'm looking forward to running around with a Rampart and Caustic on this thing in pubs for a bit, just to bully a few people if you're here and there. Uh, definitely gonna be um, something that uh, <laughs> uh, I'm gonna annoy a lot of people with as if I wasn't annoying enough and uh, I'm really excited for clubs as well uh, I will be making a club uh, I think I might call it TMA something to do with controller players make it exclusive access to controller players I don't know because it's it's only 30 people limited access uh, we'll see how it goes we'll see how it goes if you can make multiple clubs then that would be perfect because then I could make one for subscribers and I could make one for um, his friends and uh, fellow competitive players as well. Be great to find uh, teammates for rank. But let's head into the juicy stuff now. Let's um, let's head into um, your um, your patch notes for legends. We we'll start off with Bangalore here. Uh, it's actually getting some love. Uh, Rolling Thunder. It's gonna have reduced time for explosion from eight to six seconds. Well, two second two seconds taken off. Uh, it did take a billion years to get. Um, Bangalore is all down most of the time, but uh, definitely looks like something. Um, but I, I still wouldn't like personally. I, I just wouldn't. I still wouldn't use Bangalore for comp, but in pubs, yeah, I, I could see. I could see her being used, uh, especially for ranked as well. Wouldn't be, uh, wouldn't be as used used as less as she already is. See what they've done to caustic. So the Nox gas trap and grenade legend no longer get blurred vision while in gas damage updated from. 4 to 10 ticks of damage to 6 to 12 ticks of damage oh caustic gas has got a buff respawn what are you what are you doing <laughs> i think it's the greatest contributor to this question in fact your vision and blood and gas is made extremely hard to fight back uh, make up for a lost power upping the damage in the gas Respawn! Why? <laughs> they just buffed Caustic, dude! Oh no. But I'm curious to see how Caustic's gonna play out on this new map because it's a very it's a very open map. Like Caustic's more I, I feel like Caustic could be extremely useful on um, World Edge, especially for comp and for like for rank when the splits changes to like um World Edge, which it will in the second split. Um, it's gonna be extremely helpful for that. Let's see if Mirage got a got a little, little buff here. Cycle Life Party Decal have 45 health. Uh, from what I've heard, uh, I think it doesn't show you how much damage you do to the decoys. But uh, I've I've been speaking to to one of my friends who did get access to the game, and he said that um, y it's it's it it bar it's barely noticeable as a buff. So I I I really doubt that uh, Mirage would be um would would come back into fashion. It never like it was at the start of Apex, like back in season 0, uh, when everyone thought oh going invisible was like this amazing thing, but that was like the only time of relevance for Octane. But Swiftman here gets a it gets a buff here from Octane. That that that's huge actually. 1 HP for a second is is not too bad. It really isn't. I I'll take that. But it's twice as much healing. Once again, one of my favorite characters to use and um in pubs at least, but uh Let's see, Watson seems to be getting some love here. Perimeter security damage increased from 10 to 15. Hmm. Well, that seems like uh, 
let's see they ha they are buffing a lot of the, the the legends that are used in comp so that's that's definitely that's lovely to see because um like watson started to go out of fashion a bit in apac at least it started coming back towards like the end of the uh towards the end the end of the last algs especially in apac north where it was like completely dominated by crypto and rev like i you did see a lot of like watson's being used in apac north and south recently now let's see what they've done to rampart uh sheila now takes 1.5 seconds to fully spin up and so two seconds and the amp wall takes three seconds to build up that's a small patch here and there but uh just in general the, the spin up time for um for Sheila is what just does it for me, man. I, I just don't. I personally, I, I you, you might like it, but personally, I just don't like using Rampart just because of like all the delays that happen in between. Like, there's just too much delay. There's just, there's just too many delays. Personally, that uh, I, I just don't like seeing with the Rampart. Um, but let's uh, let's move in with Pathfinder now. Let's see. If they finally gave him um, gave him some love. His hitbox. Uh, a lot. Of, Shootable, but particularly his arms and legs don't represent a shootable area either. He's see blah blah blah. Question is, is sure come up. Not yet removing low profile. Come on, he has the same hitbox as Revenant. Why are you not removing that? But uh, it's fine. A grappling hook changes to grappling hook. Uh, Pathfinder is no longer needs to be in the ground for grappling hook to be considered finished. Uh, the speed of grappling hook needs finish from 300 units. Second, maximum cooldown grapple was lowered to 30 seconds, 35 seconds. The maximum amount of travel in for cooldown is set to five seconds. Okay, that's a slight buff. Rather than being uncapped, this means that effectively you can never incur more than 35 second cooldown. That's a slight. That's a slight buff coming to uh. Pathfinder. Like it's it's like I haven't seen any big nerfs. They haven't they haven't gone in and like just thrown a character into the trash can this season. And Wraith mains are gonna be like the happiest right now because there really isn't a nerf for Wraith at last. For once they're like, okay, let's chill on the Wraith nerfs. Let's let's just let's just relax. Relax for a bit. Now Supply drops. Uh, R99 is out of the supply drop. We knew that before it came in. Prowler goes back into the supply drop. Uh, let's see the damage from that. It reduced to 11. Ammo is 20. 22, 24, 27. If I'm not wrong, wasn't it... Was it 18? Before it got... Man, it's been so long since they... Since they uh, changed the uh, 99, um, so I, I it, like I've used the gun so much that I've actually forgotten like how much like the fucking ammo count was, like for nothing. But uh, I think 20, 20, 27 is decent. I think I, I think it's like, exactly the same as it was before it got put into the supply drop. See the hemlock, so they increase. Oh, it's a nerf to the hemlock, so they increase horizontal recoil of the first three shots. Uh, they increase the recoil magnitude, later speed, reduce recoil. Multiplier, multiplier, and single. F oh, so the burst gets some nerf, and looks like um, the single fire got a slight buff. Uh, we mostly increase in burst mode rather than single fire mode, and the headshot. Ouch! The headshot multiplier got decreased a little bit from forty. Yeah, that's that's reasonable. That's reasonable. You shouldn't be able to like four tap, like five tap somebody with a hemlock in the head and just kill them. That's yeah, I, I'll, I'll agree with that one. See the havoc update recoil pattern kicks up, then right, then left, then up again. Mm, well, yeah, it had like the weirdest. It had the weirdest recoil pattern uh, in season six. So they, they just like nerfed it to the ground. I don't think anyone used the havoc willingly. Like uh, the only time I'd used the havoc was like maybe close range hip fire, but I, don't know, I I just did not like the havoc last season. Now the L star is something that I heard a lot about from people who did play um, in the pre-release. I was talking to a few people here and there. And uh, they did say the L star was going to be was might be meta for the new season. So let's see what they've done to it. So the L star now has a recoil pattern that kicks horizontally at first and then settles into a relatively consistent upward recoil pattern. Players who feather the trigger will not be able to keep the L star in a good portion of the recoil pattern. So be venting time, lingo trigger will be reduced. L star now reduce heat faster when not overheated. From 99 to zero charge, not what he did. So Dev notes, L-Star has some limitations that cause it to feel worse than we like. The recoil patterns 
snake back and forth, which was difficult to control reliability, additional firing shot burst. Basically, um, in this summed up from somebody who played the game, uh, the L-Star was apparently like an absolute laser beam. So, I don't know, I might just throw a throw a 2x bruiser on it and uh, try it out. Well, we're going to be testing a lot of this uh, when the new season comes out on Wednesday. So, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Quick shameless plug here. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss out my stream on Wednesday. Uh, we'll be uh, testing out all the new map the weapons and the, the new map spots. And uh, eventually, we'll be heading into ranked, trying to grind and hit Predator this season. Uh, trying to not be lazy with the Fred grind this season. I don't. I, I didn't hit it this. I did. I did not hit it this split. So definitely, um, just gonna put on the hard work boots and uh, just grind out Pred for uh, for the next season. Now see the Sentinels received a massive buff, 70, 88 damage for a body shot, and I heard it did like one sixty two for headshot. So it's it's going to be like insane. But like it's like a miniature Kraber at this point. Like the Sentinel was still a bit weak after a good phase energy. Shield changing energize, changing the energizer from a disruptor anti shield effect to an amped damage boost effect. Ooh, so it's just gonna it's so it's gonna it's it's gonna fuck you up now even if you don't have shields, which is, ow, that's scary. Holy shit. Okay, so now the triple take would uh, received a little buff to the, to the fire rate. I still think it's gonna be a really good gun. But uh, yeah, triple takes. Uh, it's it's not gonna change them. People are gonna be annoying with that, regardless. Now, quick draw. Now, new hop up. So the quick draw holster hop up. So this new hop up attaches to Ari and Wingman. Now, apparently, um, this makes the gun. Uh, it, it's basically like yes, it's basically like the same COD quick draw. Uh, quicker to raise and lower takes less time to ADS. And the reduced hip fire spread. This might actually like bring the wingman back into fashion a bit more because it seemed to be going out of the meta like slowly. But this might like bring it back like way more. Especially, I have a horrible wingman shot, but uh, I might I might just try getting better with the um with the wingman just to um just for the sake of it. You know, it's it's always room for improvement. Uh, the select fire hop up will be removed. Uh, yeah, okay. Since the prowler's gone and nobody really fucking uses the select fire on the Havoc, so I really don't mind that. So now let's go into the uh, armor changes. Oh god, let's see what they've done with this. So level 0 to 1 is, oh god, they nerfed the armor. Okay, okay, okay. It's 100 damage from 50 to, that's that's okay, from 50 to 0 to 1. 150 from 150, 300 damage from 250, that's okay. 750 damage for Red Evo. You know, to be honest, I kind of agree with this. Like, it's not as easy anymore to get um, Red Evo. So, it, it Red Evo, like, with how much, how much of an HP boost it gives you, uh, should definitely, um, definitely have more value. And especially um, with its uh, damage requirements being increased to 250 more to like 750. Uh, it, it's. Uh, it's definitely going to be um, it's definitely going to be a bit tougher, and uh, we're going to be seeing less red evos. But uh, it's going to be a it's, it's going to have more of an incentive to like playing more aggressive. I think that's what uh, what Apex's devs want us to do. Like they don't want us to like just get that red evo really quickly and then just move on to playing passive for the rest of the game. Now the ring damage has been reduced. This is going to be huge, especially um, with ring rotations. Um, like. Brain 2 would be like the death of you if you got caught out in it um, since like for the last two seasons. So ring 1 stayed the same, that's fine. Now ring 2 has been, all of the rings have been reduced drastically. Now everything from ring 3 onwards has been reduced, like ring 3 has been reduced by 50%. It's been reduced to 5% from 10 and so has ring 4. Now um, especially end game, I don't know if I don't know if this is gonna affect. It, it actually might affect end game portal play, especially if you have uh, gold shield. So in comp, it's gonna be really, uh, really interesting because it's only fifteen percent tick from in ring seven. So it's gonna be like a ring, like a ring three to ring four zone in the last zone. So that's gonna be that's gonna be extremely, extremely interesting to see um, how end game portal plays and competitives plays out. Because I think there's gonna be um, if if somebody does have a gold shield, it's gonna be like a, a more of a GG like. Especially uh, if, you're, if you're just gonna out heal everybody. Um, and now we just head over to like the small things. We just uh, we'll, we'll just head over to like bug fixes and 
See what they've done. Audio. Oh god. Respawn. Please. 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 Please tell me. Tell me. Tell me. Tell me it's good. We made some advancements in footsteps audio. Playing more reliable. We've had some hard work being done. That will continue to roll out and gets complicated. I swear to god. Respawn. I, if please if this is if, if audio has been fixed in apex legends and with all the changes that are coming through you're gonna see this game like fucking skyrocket over over uh, the course of the next few months and the future in general so um yeah i'm definitely if, if audio is uh, this 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 is the biggest patch note positive out of everything that we've read so far this audio this is the one thing we've been begging the respawn devs to to give us for over a year now since the game came out like audio it, it, if 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 this is fixed like perfectly respawn like kudos to you i don't mind that you put us through season six which honestly fucked me up made me hate the game a little bit not gonna lie but if you fix audio, and with all of this shit coming out in Season 7, man, Respawn, I forgive you for all of the shit you've done for Season 6, alright? No, we've had, we've had our issues in the past, but this would definitely be the cream of the crop. Uh, let's see, uh, minor issues here, uh, nothing much, nothing much, nothing much, and that's like pretty much the end of, um, the patch notes, that's, uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below about all of these patch notes that are, uh, coming out, and also make sure you guys download Apex, it's free, um, and definitely make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe to the channel, uh, I will be streaming every single day for a season seven and i will be playing in the algs and gll tournaments so you guys can feel free to tune in for that as well so i will be trying I'll, I'll be trying to like upgrade my stream schedule a bit because i have slacked off a bit on streaming in the last season just because like the game started getting a bit stale but now that it's like come back with like a f with, like a full-fledged update and a new map and everything it might just like ignite that passion to like start streaming like eight to ten hours a day regularly now so yeah make sure you guys definitely subscribe to the channel and turn on your notification most importantly turn on your notifications so that you don't miss out on anything that i do anyway guys it's been your boy ultimate noob uh take care stay safe and peace out